Hi, it's Jane, and I'm back with some more shout-outs for the week. I've got quite a few, you know. When you're stuck at home, you get a little more chance to find new channels. So, I'm going to list them down below for you to check out as well. This first one comes from Wilma. And she is one of, uh, she's on a lot of our channels. And, um, Wilma, if I mispronounce this, I really apologize. But I believe it's probably in your native language, which if I remember correctly, is German? I think. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. Wilma, Wilma will certainly let us know what her native language is. And that is Wimpy's Crete Creative W. Batterink. I know her as Wilma Batterink. But she has changed her name for her channel. So I'm assuming she's planning on doing some videos. She has a short little video up, so check her out. There is his Hypnotic Hysteria Looming. Now, this is, I believe, Nikki is her first name. Might be wrong. But, um... Her channel is a looming channel. She has had his, his hypnotic hysteria for a long time. She added in a new channel for looming. If I remember correctly, there was a problem with, um, I believe her channel was stolen as well, but I'm not positive. But she does have another channel up with looming where she does some looming with you. She also has a Facebook group where she does looming lives on Facebook. <laughs> Then there is Thing of the Things, Kelly, and she is a loom knitter as well. She does a lot of lives where she will just loom knit something off the cuff, and um, she has some great projects, so I hope you'll check her channel out. There is Connie's Crochet Couch, found her recently, and I'm enjoying hers videos as well. Brittany Alice crochet. I watched a couple of her videos and I do enjoy those. Then there is Martian Creations. This is Maria. Now Maria has a couple of videos up and um, I'm really liking them. She does a lot of teaching you different uh, patterns that she has created, those kind of things. So check her out. Then there is Amanda Reese. And um, Amanda I just found. If I remember correctly, she sells ice yarns through a store. And I'm not going to remember the name of the store because I've been watching a lot of videos. Um, but she has some videos showing the ice yarns that she has. And then down in her links below, she has the address for her website to um, purchase ice yarns. So, um, then there is My Yarn Club. Now, My Yarn Club just recently did a live video where they shared 10 patterns and with some different designers. Now, this is a yarn buying club that I've not checked out yet. Um... But actually, that is what this club is about, buying yarn. And um, I believe they provide patterns for members of the yarn buying club. But here's hoping they'll do a couple more videos because this live video, you know, I shared in the group the video so you could get um, those patterns if you wanted them. Then there is Hooked in a Flash, and that is Haley. She has a couple of videos put up. Um, and of course, she's a crochet channel. Check her out. Then there is The Crafts Teacher. Let me get a drink. Sorry about the face touching. I'm in my own home now. I washed my hands. The crafts teacher, she does a lot of different crafts, so check that out. This next one is Crochet and Knit with 
Frida S. Bazaar. She does a lot of videos about um, crochet patterns that she has designed as well as knit. Shows you how to do a lot of different um, stitches, those kind of things. And shows you off some great yarn hauls. Now, I found her because I had marked her because I saw a video for a tutorial for the Lost in Time shawl. Now, um, the woman that wrote the pattern for the Lost in Time shawl asked her to pull her tutorial for that. Um, and she's doing that with a lot of the other channels. So, um, she didn't ask permission first. And, uh, and I can understand her reasoning because I've seen it in a lot of different languages as well. So you would assume that it would be okay to do a tutorial in English. But the owner of the pattern didn't want the tutorial put out there. So she had asked her to pull it and she did make it private for herself, unlisted. And she admits that she has trouble reading a lot of patterns. So that's why she makes up a lot of her own patterns as she goes. So check her out as well. The next one is Heart Sprinkle, and this is Crystal. You know the pattern that shows the cats where one row is a cat and then the next color, next row is a different color and it's a cat? She has a pattern that she has done that is hearts. So, um, she does a lot of different tutorials, stitch, things like that. So, um check her out it's a real neat afghan that she has started and um i think i'm going to link the pattern that pattern directly to her so that if you want to you can also look at her channel to see what other videos she has and decide if you want to subscribe and the last one of course is cornflower crafts um the previous video will have Gina loves to craft, which is paper, crafting mostly, as well as cornflower crafts is mostly paper, scrapbooking, but um, I find some of their videos interesting as well, you know, so um, check those guys out, and I hope you enjoy that, and other than that, I hope that um, if you're not subscribed and you found this channel, that you would subscribe if you like what you see. Give it a thumbs up, share it with others, those kind of things. Um, over in the Scraptastic group on Facebook, we are doing a mini challenge for the Kindness Monster, which I provided the link earlier. Um, it is a Ravelry link, and as you know, in the past, I have not done Ravelry links because I've walked away from Ravelry. However, I am a part of several groups that share a lot of free patterns. So, since we're all quarantined in, I've been sharing free patterns as I find them on the Facebook group. And, you know, I've never had a problem with anyone who found a pattern wanting to share it. Not the pattern itself. Let's dispel that myth right there. Because there's a lot of those social justice warriors that keep saying... I'm allowing you to share their patterns on my Facebook group. And no, you're allowed to share the link to their patterns. Let's stop that rumor right there in the bud. Um, but you can share whatever patterns you find you like on the group. You know, the links to them, not the actual pattern, unless you wrote the pattern and you want to share it. You can share it in the files section if you wrote the pattern. You gotta be real careful these days because of these rather sometime Nazi esque social justice warriors. So, um,. So that's what we're doing this week. I'm sharing a lot of patterns. Um, and as you know, sometimes it takes quite a bit of work. Um, luckily, some of those I can schedule a time for them to show up 
so I can do a lot real early in the morning and schedule them throughout the day. I don't always, that doesn't always work sometimes, you know. I'm on and off. Um, Facebook, many times I'm on Facebook. People think that I'm actually on there and I'm actually upstairs sewing. I have no clue what's going on. Because I don't always log out. That's a problem. You know, I get to log out, I decide to get a whim and women this little uh, butt of mine says let's go so and I forget that I'm still logged in to Facebook so um yeah okay everybody have a great day and I will see you again soon and I hope that if you're doing the crochet along and the knit along cow that you're doing okay if you're having any problems you can certainly um, ask questions here or ask them on the Facebook group please remember there is also a video where I have something special I'm going to give away but you have to find out where it is and the keywords to pronounce to put out in your comment and you have to comment on that video so um yeah this is your first time here you're gonna have to go hunting but have fun hunting all right, see you again soon. Remember to practice kindness. And, you know, if you haven't read a book in a while, you're bored. I don't know why you're bored. There's lots to do. And if you have families, you can play board games, card games, you name it, all kinds of things. But if you are, you might just pick up a book and read it to your kids or read a good book. See you again soon. Bye.